On July 25th of 1976, NASA's Viking 1 orbiter took a collection of images of the Sidonia region on Mars. After reviewing these images, one of which being 035A72 stood out among the others. Let's take a look. You see something out of the ordinary, don't you? Something that appears to be a humanoid face, but this is on Mars. How could that be? The chief scientist, after looking at this image, just thought it was a weird angle at which the sun was reflecting on a mountain range. But then after scientists looked at images taken 35 orbits later and at a different sun angle on the surface, this was found. Something that appeared to be almost the exact same humanoid face in the same region of Mars. So was this in fact created by an ancient alien civilization? Let's talk about that. From these initial images, the face on Mars was predicted to be about 1.5 to 2 kilometers in length, which would be around 6 to 8 times the size of the pyramids of Giza. Now that sounds incredibly massive, but even though Mars has a lower surface gravity than Earth, it would be something doable for an ancient alien civilization that has these engineering technologies. Now the scientists that actually made these discoveries in the archives of NASA were NASA contractors, and they spent their time over the 80s writing a book looking at other structures that appeared in the Sidonia region, things such as pyramids and possibly city ruins that could be seen from orbit. Now after further investigation and looking at the actual placement of these objects, some theorize that the orientation of these different structures on the Sidonia region in fact aligns with the Martian solstice, or how it would have aligned somewhat of a hundred million years ago. Now this is important because some believe this is similar to what the Stonehenge structure represents here on Earth. So some of these major structures that we are seeing from these early Viking images could in fact represent some celestial meaning on a higher level. But what exactly would this structure mean? Again, this face was only visible from orbit. So would this be a signal to us humans trying to represent that people were there? Well, some theorize that this is actually an ancient civilization and a memorial to something that could have been happened there. And this, in fact, would have to mean that the alien civilization looked a lot like what us humans look like. But others believe that this could have been created by an advanced alien civilization that is trying to contact humanity. Basically putting it on Mars and once humans are able to reach this location, we will be able to contact these advanced alien life forms. However, either of these aren't fully known because we haven't been able to explore this region fully. So what do you think about the face on Mars? How do you think it was developed? How much time do you think it took to make this structure? And what could this mean for the future of human exploration and contact with alien life forms? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. So as you could probably tell, the rest of this video is about a couple more minutes that I'm going to talk about the actual science and a little bit more about what we know about the face on Mars. All of what I've mentioned so far are from images that are 30 to 40 years old, and most of what is talked about on this face on Mars represents these older images. And the main reason that this got a lot of attention and a lot of hype in these original years is because after these orbiters or these early pictures from Viking 1, there wasn't a lot of images until 2001. Now as you can see from this image, a face is still somewhat recognizable, but nowhere near as apparent as the original images. And it just happened that how the lighting arranged and the technology that we had at the time made it look like that these were both very distinct structures that represented a humanoid face. However, with higher resolution cameras that we sent to Mars, it quickly became that this isn't a very fine developed structure, but rather a normal mountain range. But there were still a lot of people that were critical about thinking this new way. So when the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took its high rise pictures or really high resolution images, you got this. And with this image, you can barely even tell that there's a facial structure. I mean, from seeing the previous images, you can kind of see that it exists, but just by looking at this, it looks like almost any other Martian landform. And a lot of scientists that were working on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter said that this region of Mars looks very similar to like the western part of the United States, just a barren desert, and this just so happened to be a mesa in that region. Now some people are actually skeptical of these images that we receive from NASA or the higher resolution ones. They think that they're altered so that we don't see what's actually going on there. However, I wouldn't 
necessarily agree with that completely, mainly because some of the original scientists that were behind this idea of the Sidonia region having this humanoid face structure and possible pyramids and city ruins were NASA contractors. And I imagine a lot of scientists at NASA would love to see a city ruins on Mars. That would be incredible and show us a lot of information about what the past of Mars looked like. However, it's just not true because the high rise images didn't provide those. And yes, they could be altering the data, but technically we would never really know. So we just have to trust NASA in knowing that this isn't a monument to humanoids, but rather just a normal mountain on Mars. So the last thing I want to mention is why does this humanoid face be the only thing that really stands out amongst all the other structures in this image? And this is because humans natural instinct to notice patterns, faces, animals, things that appear familiar to ourselves. And this is actually referred to a term as pareidolia. Now pareidolia is the idea that we're misinterpreting information that we perceive. We're trying to get something that looks somewhat like a face, maybe it's an inanimate object or maybe even a cloud for example, that we're trying to relate to something that looks more familiar to ourselves. So in this case, we see something that kind of looks like a humanoid face however in reality it's just a structure on mars but when we draw those connections is when more questions are raised and is what led to all of these theories over the last few decades now with that being said this isn't the only structure on mars that looks familiar to ourselves there's one that looks like a smiley face another one that looks like kermit the frog and these don't just occur on mars there's a lot of things here on earth natural occurrences that appear to look like a humanoid structure so that just has to do with with us recognizing patterns that we see similar to what we see in our everyday life. But with that being said, let me know what you think about the face on Mars. Do you actually think it was created by aliens? I'd love to hear what you have to say. But thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.